Hello everybody, it's wee Paddy from Across the Shock. <clears throat> and you'll have to excuse me, I haven't been in contact with you since Sunday night. I've had a bit of a busy week. Nothing bad at all, just a busy week. Um, what happened on Sunday night, I was doing the live feed and it got cut off. There was about 40,000 homes in our surrounding area lost power that night from 15 minutes to 2 hours. And of course, mine was off for about 2 hours. So by the time I came back on again, I was in bed. So that's that's why you didn't hear from me. Uh, and I apologise for that. I had started doing a giveaway, which is now was incomplete. And it would be unfair because it was going to be for all those who participated that night. But what I am going to say is, next week on Sunday night, I will redo the giveaway for those who take part in the Sunday night uh, live. So that's just a wee bit of a warning. And for those that did enter last week, I'm sure you'll understand and forgive me. I'll move it on because it would be unfair. And I didn't even post it up on the uh, the channel afterwards because I didn't know I was in bed. <laughs> now, what have I got in front of you? I've got loads in front of you. I've got lots coming up and I really need to get my backside in the gear because it's starting to pile up here. I've still got a review of the proper to come. Finished, finished working it. I just have to fit the review into the schedule. Um, this week I done some writ dyeing. Oh, and uh, this is one of the examples. Uh, was my rat two? Oh, how can you not flick a rat two? But that was green, and I dyed it. This is sapphire blue, and it came out amazing. So I was told off for not doing a video so this weekend i'm going to do a video of this knife which is the artisan and um, i'm going to rip dye these scales and do it on video so that people who have never done it can see just how completely simple it is nothing to worry about at all so that's coming up this weekend uh, i have a couple of reviews of small knives that i haven't got around to reviewing yet and i've got a little comparison as well with the real deals and what I had before was some of the clones of them and um, the differences in them and why I chose the clones and why I have also gone and bought the originals so that's a wee conversation to come up and I know that's always quite uh, confrontational but that's not why I'm doing it I'm doing it just because that's what I could afford at the time. And now that I can afford a wee bit better, I've got a wee bit better. And that's usually the way it works. I'm leaving that to last. Um, I've got a review on this, which is a Casio watch. And I don't do a lot of watch reviews, but I'm doing one on this. This is one I just bought myself. It's not. I bought it on Amazon. And this is it. I've had it for about a week now. And I had bought it because I'm... A silly old fart and my eyesight is definitely getting worse and I can read this without my glasses on which is why I bought it so it's just got the rubber strap but an excellent excellent EDC watch for everyday use at a really basic price so I'll review that in probably another week or two weeks once I've, I've had it for a while and make sure it keeps time so far it's very good today I received these this is a needle file set that I bought uh, because I want to do a bit more modern on my knives, especially the choils on Spyderco knives. Um, those of you who don't know, all Spyderco knives don't have a choil. So I'm going to do mine and I'm going to do it between the needle nose files and the little Dremel that I have. I've done it once. This is what I've done on this one. If you can see, well, let me get this up here. Yeah, I put that choil in and it's amazing. I can now sharpen this no problem whatsoever. So that's what I want to do to all my Spyderco knives. So I'll be doing a review of using these and the wee Dremel to see which one I think is the best. Tomorrow I have a review of this and this is from Gearbest. This is stunning. This is a gentleman's carry. Look how small that is. It is, let me just say, it is... Tip to toe, three and a half inches. Lovely little EDC. It's a front flipper, which I'm rubbish at. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's S35VN. So they say. <laughs> I don't know whether it is or not, but do you want to know something? It's got a wickedly sharp edge it comes with. It's ground absolutely beautiful. There we go. Ground beautiful. 
and whether it is or not, as a gentleman's folder for cutting anything, I would highly recommend this at the price it is. It's just stunning. It's on bearings. This an absolutely lovely example of a oh I can't do that. The front flipper. But I'll get used to it and uh I've been enjoying this all week, so I've a review of that coming tomorrow. And I'm gonna save them to last. This I've got a review of this afternoon. Well, I'm going to have a first look because this is the first time that I've got in on something. My wife bought me this yesterday. And let me show you what it is. There we go. It's a Made in the USA Spyderco. And it's the UK pen knife. But it's in red. And it's in uh, S30V. And I am over the moon that I got it. It was just up on the website. And I ordered it and got it this morning. I am so chuffed. I have just opened this to see what it's like. So I'm going to do a first impressions of this straight after this video. So look out for that today. Isn't that stunning? And it's the UK PK. So it's a slip joint. But look at the shape and form of that. It's everything. I think the UK PK is everything that Spyderco wanted in the Delica, but with a forward choil. Now the fact that it's a slip joint... You'll never, ever cut yourself holding it like that. Never. You just, it's, you know, it's just not. It's just going to go straight down your finger and that's it. If it ever did that. But it is so comfortable in hand. And an absolutely beautiful example of Spyderco's form over prettiness. Because it's just a great, great knife. Lovely back spring, back spring there. It's just lovely. Really deep carry wire pocket clip. I had... The um, AliExpress version of this. That these are quite expensive, but to me, um, being from Northern Ireland, um, where the, the the laws are so bad, this is worth it because it's a, a the S thirty V is just amazing. Um, it used to come in it's a BD one or whatever, but this this is just this is worth it for me. So I'll do a review of that. Today, just a first first impressions of it, and put that up later on this evening. And the last thing is something that was sent to me. Um, this man contacted me. Um, I follow him on Facebook, and he had been following me, and he'd asked me what I like to do these on my channel. He's in the USA, so it's not as if you're ordering from Northern Ireland. He's in the USA. And this is Damned EDC. And they're made by DamnedDesigns.com. www.DamnedDesigns.com. I'll put that down below um, if you want to go and have a look at his website. These are little EDC. This is a tool. I'm just going to give you a quick look with your bits on it, the bottle opener on it. It's just a lovely, it's in titanium. There's a little ruler on the side of it. So light, so light. It looks big and bulky, but it is just feather light. Titanium is just a wonderful um, platform to work with. But they're made so well, so, so well. So that's the one. And he also sent me some nooks. Now, I'm a 60-year-old man. Why would I want nooks to show on my channel? Do you want to know something? I didn't really think of it until I'd seen these. And like this is an example. This is a key ring nook. You can hang it on your key ring. Um, I love this design, the cross, the circle, and then the slice. That's absolutely, that's his trademark. And I think it is amazing. But why would I want to carry one of those? Well, do you want to know something? You're going to have to wait till I do the review on them. So I have the single nook. Is it Nuke? I think I've got that right. N-U-K, I think they're called. I'm not sure. Again, it's not something that I would have thought. And then I have the double one. And again, these look as if they're big and bulky. They weigh nothing. You can't feel it in your hand. But a really useful tool. So, um, I'll, do the, I'll be doing a review probably the beginning of next week. I just want to play about with them first so that I'm comfortable with them. Um, if you look on my Facebook page, I'll be posting them daily. Um, and if you want to have a look at his channel, please go and do it. He's going to give us a discount on these. So I have to work that out with him yet. I literally only received them yesterday. He's going to work a discount for us um, for our channel. 
and to get it to get give him a bit of a boost and he has other stuff in the pipeline so this is just the start of a of a uh, a working partnership and hopefully you'll be as impressed with these as I am I really am so there we go review of this tonight the rest is going to be fitted in as often as I can I'll probably be doing about five videos in the next seven days so you're going to see plenty of patty Thank you very much. And thank you for those on Sunday. I really enjoyed the chat that we had. And I'm sorry we got cut off uh, this Sunday again. And there'll be a, a draw on the Sunday for those who join in the live chat. So, all the very best, is And uh, I'll see you next. Well, no, I'll see, you, I'll see you later on today when I do that one. Bye now. All the best. Come on, time.